of that. It's actually mild. Good morning everyone, please excuse my appearance, but today is day one of veganism. Day one, hour one, vegan month. I'm very excited, I think it's gonna be really fun. Tim's excited, Tim's going out for dinner tonight, oh, yeah. so I've told him he has to send me a picture of what he orders, because Tim is also going vegan for the Ooh. month. I'm gonna get a cheeseless pizza, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> it's gonna be weird. <laughs> cool, bye. Bye. <laughs> Workout complete and time for my protein shake or actually I'm just gonna put it in my oats. But all of my protein powders have milk powder in them. I've had to pick up a vegan protein. This is the My Vegan, <laughs> My Protein Protein in orange and cacao. So I'm gonna try it. I do have a different vegan protein powder but I really hate how it tastes. So I'm gonna give this one a go. That actually tastes disgusting. No. It also tastes disgusting as a shake. This is gonna be a problem. This is my first hurdle. I thought this was gonna be really easy, but if my protein powder is disgusting, this is something I drink like two times a day. This is gonna be <laughs> crap. It's actually vile. Bottoms up. You guys have been asking me for an updated granola recipe and this is my banana bread granola. Three cups of oats, a scoop of salted caramel protein powder, two tablespoons of coconut sugar, a hefty teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of flax seeds, blended up one banana, a quarter of a cup of maple syrup, a quarter of a cup of peanut butter, two tablespoons of coconut oil and baked it for about 50 minutes in total until it was crispy as hell. Outpro Greek yogurt. See. I'll be honest, soy yogurt, nowhere near as good as Greek yogurt, but I think it's something I could get used to maybe. Okay. Moving on to lunch, we had two of these Richmond meat-free sausages, which are vegan, obviously, with some avocado, just with some lemon and chili flakes, on sourdough toast with some tomato and rocket, and that was my lunch. And then I got hungry again, so I had pink lady apple and a packet of popcorners. And then I also had a yogurt bowl with granola and fruit, because apparently I was feeling snacky this day. <laughs> then it was time for me to make dinner, and I made something that I often do fall back on. It is my veggie bolognese, which this time had mushrooms, courgette, red peppers, celery, onion, aubergine and I just chuck it all in a massive pan with loads of salt, pepper and Italian seasonings and then I add a tin of tomatoes, loads of garlic and then we tried the Tesco free from cheese. It was fine, it tasted very coconutty. Let's see what I think of the cheese. I mean it's not cheese but it tastes good. Sorry, this bowl is incredibly hot. Burning me. Oh. I've made this recipe quite a few times. It's something that I make anyway. And then for dessert, I had some of the Outpro chocolate swirl ice cream. Hello, good morning. I'm trying to make the protein powder taste good. Not the chocolate cacao. I think I'm a bit scarred and I may need some time. But the salted caramel one, I've blended it up with half a banana and soy milk and ice. It's still not good. It's just not good. It's drinkable now, which is an improvement. It'll have to do. This just came in a PR package and I have to wait a month to eat it. I then had two of those sausages with beans on toast with vegan cheese, broccoli and some leftover potatoes, followed by some more ice cream. And then I made my favorite oat cake, which is just oats, protein powder, frozen berries, milk, loads and loads of cinnamon. And then I put some flaked almonds on the top and you bake it in the oven for like 25, 30 minutes. Then Tim and I had a quarter each for breakfast the next morning. I had it with some Oatly Greek yogurt and some maple syrup and it was a great cake dessert breakfast situation. Then we found these. This is the Green Cuisine Vegan Fajita Mix and this was amazing. We just served this with pico de gallo and some guacamole and we put them in a wrap as little fajitas with some vegan cheese and some lettuce and some cucumber and it was so so good like honestly i couldn't even tell that it was 
vegan. The texture was amazing. It was really nicely spiced. Then I ended up going back for a second one. Okay, so then I decided I wanted to try and experiment and make a snack. So I chucked some flaked almonds, some walnuts, some flaked coconut into the blender and pulsed it all together. I then added a tablespoon of lemon juice and a few dates to add sweetness and also help bind it together. Once it started to naturally come together, I rolled them into little bite-sized balls and then rolled them in some extra coconut flakes. And then I just put them in the fridge and they were just little lemon coconut balls and they were actually quite nice. And then for dinner, I decided to make a little burrito bowl. So I made some tofu, some roasted sweet potato, some black beans, some charred sweet corn. I then added the tofu on top. And then I used some of the leftover vegan spaghetti bolognese that I made with the leftover guacamole and salsa. And then I just whacked some lettuce and some cheese on top. And oh my God, wow. Oh mate, let me tell you, I'm so buzzing to eat this. Oh my god. This is actually rude. This is too good. I've truly outdone myself. This is so good. I don't want it to end. I do not want this to end. It's so good. And then because I can't go to bed without dessert, I ended up having another bit of the oat cake with the Outpro soy custard, which I absolutely love. It does just taste like custard. <laughs> I just heated it up in the microwave and then whacked some custard on top and it was so good. And then before bed, I decided to meal prep some oats. So I just grated half a courgette and I actually cooked them in a vanilla chai tea bag. And then I threw in some blackberries and oh my God, it was so great. Good morning. This morning I've decided to make Tim and I vegan breakfast tacos. We make like a tofu scramble. Was it yesterday we had fajitas for lunch and then I had a burrito bowl for dinner and then we still have like pico de gallo and guac left. So I thought let's do it. And I never have savory breakfast because I have such a crazy sweet tooth. I usually like to basically have cake for breakfast. <laughs> Tim likes savory food much more than sweet food. So I thought today I would treat him and we would make breakfast tacos. I'm actually gonna make the tortillas myself. Masca? Masca? This? And you basically just mix it with water and salt and you can make your own tacos or uh, little tortillas. So I'm gonna make my own. Let's get going. Okay, I'm gonna preface this with, you win some, you lose some. This is a lose for me. We failed quite massively here. So just watch me struggle, okay? So you just add the corn flour with some salt and water. Those are the three ingredients, but I definitely did not add enough water. You're supposed to knead it into a dough and then cover it, put it to one side. So that's what I did. And then I made the scrambled tofu. So I used two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of paprika, Paprika, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, some black pepper, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a quarter of a cup of milk, mix it together, and then you just break apart the tofu into a scrambly consistency, but not too small because it does break up in the pan. And then again, I set that to one side to start making my tortilla. It feels good. Press it down into a little disc and get ready to roll. Then everything just kind of went wrong. <laughs> That was a massive fail. I'm very upset. I made it too dry basically and it just was crumbling apart. And also I thought we had grease proof paper because I put it on the shopping list, but we do not have grease proof paper. So I couldn't even roll it out properly. But I've got two wraps. Gonna make something delicious if it kills me. Maybe a burrito will work. So basically they were just crumbly messes, okay? And it was very embarrassing. So we persevered and I whacked my tofu in a pan and then I poured the mix on top and stirred it until it was all absorbed and reduced down to a nice gooey scrambled egg texture. Sounds kind of gross, but it is amazing, okay? Then I fried up some corn and some black beans because sweet corn is better charred, okay? Don't knock it till you try it. And I added some guac and my egg scramble mixture with the black beans and the corn and some more pico de gallo. Rolled it up, sliced it in half, and I served it with some roasted potatoes and some sriracha and coriander on top. And this is Tim's reaction. Look at that. Look at Tim's workspace. Wow. Oh, this looks nice. Oh yeah. How is that? 
No, it literally just tastes like an egg burrito. Does it? That texture. What is it? What is it made of? Tofu. Wow. You want to try some? Or you got one? I've got one. I need to make it. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Finally made it taste good. Loads of banana. <laughs> for lunch, I made a quick tofu and couscous salad. And then for dinner, I had more of the spag bowl on rice this time with some jalapenos and coriander and broccoli. And Tim had some coconut yogurt on top. Something that I was quite interested in when starting this vegan month was how it would affect my training, how it would affect my muscle mass, how it would affect my energy levels. I was eating a lot and I definitely didn't feel like my energy was down. To be honest, I felt really strong and I managed to get quite a few PBs in the gym over the month that I was vegan, so that was very exciting. But I am quite reliant in everyday life on my protein shakes to make sure my protein is nice and high. So the fact that I didn't like the vegan protein was kind of a bummer i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but it's all good we move in the session that you're seeing right now i hit a pb having just done a early morning spin class so i was absolutely knackered and as soon as i got home i downed a protein shake and then i ate a tiny bowl of yogurt just to get some food in my stomach because tim was making vegan banh mi's for lunch if you don't know what a banh mi is let me tell you banh mi is kind of like um a baguette from Vietnam. So the French colonized Vietnam and brought baguettes. A big part of Vietnamese food is now um, like a French baguette with so many fillings, but usually it's got like pate and meat, um, but we're making a cauliflower banh mi because that was probably one of our favorite things we ate whilst we were traveling. Like, I think I had like three banh mi's a day while we were in Vietnam. So I'm really excited, but I'm, yeah i'm really pooped so i will link down below the recipe that tim followed it was from minimalist baker but we marinated the cauliflower fried it up and then we had a lovely seeded baguette we pickled our own vegetables which was pretty fun and then we had half of this baguette each oh look at that cauliflower oh my god so good we made our own kind of spicy vegan mayo popped the cauliflower on top and then we served it with our pickled carrots, pickled radishes, sliced cucumber and some coriander and it was honestly one of the best meals that we had over the entire month. It was amazing. I also added some jalapenos on top. Oh my god, too good. Like too good and then that evening i went out for celebratory drinks to say farewell to my pt monica and i had a lot of drinks uh all of them were vegan of course and she gave all of us chocolates and i wasn't allowed to eat mine so i am saving them i've just been at monica's leaving drinks and she gave me these polish chocolates and i'm not allowed to eat them so she said that they put them on the christmas trees in poland so i'm gonna put these away because they're not vegan, obviously they're chocolate. I'm going to put them in a bag. And these are going in the Christmas decoration box. And everyone had honey tequila shots and I said no, vegan. And then because I'm a drunk snacker, I came home <laughs> and had a big tub of popcorners as well as some more of the oat cake with some soy custard. Okay, for breakfast, I'm gonna make us some pancakes. This is the superfood bakery, gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free baking mix with cinnamon and agave inulin. So we're gonna have pancakes with some, some this isn't bacon rations. And I think it's gonna be delicious. Oh my God, I'm so hungover. Not good. So this pancake mix is easy to make vegan. You just don't put eggs in it. You just add extra milk. I used the second half of the packet and added soy milk whisked it together and you guys know how to make pancakes i think and we fried up some vegan bacon this should fix the hangover vegan pancakes with vegan bacon with some maple syrup and some blueberries on top again snacking on some popcorners because i am a snacker and then i had some more baked beans just baked beans on toast with olive spread honestly very basic and then i whacked some grated cheese on top because sometimes you just need baked beans on toast right so i'd be lying to you if i said that today i wasn't feeling a little bit delicate quite hungover as i've mentioned a few times carbonara is my ultimate ultimate comfort food and I just really, really want some carbonara. I'm gonna make me and Tim carbonara for dinner. I'm so excited, oh my God. 
vegan carbonara. So the creamy sauce was cashew based. I will link the recipe down below. I just soaked the cashew nuts. Then I used soy milk, nutritional yeast, Dijon mustard, garlic powder, onion powder, turmeric, salt, pepper, and then added the soaked cashew nuts into it and blended it up. This sauce was so rich and creamy and amazing. When Tim and I make regular carbonara, we always like to put chorizo in. So we use some vegan chorizo as well as the leftover vegan bacon. Oh my God, these mushrooms. This made me like mushrooms. We just fried them up in the oil that was released from the vegan meats. And then we we treated it like a regular carbonara so you just boil up some spaghetti add that to the pan with a little bit of the water so that the starchiness makes a lovely sauce and it goes all glossy and then pour the sauce on and stir until it reduces down to a delicious glossy creamy carbonara oh my god look at that that's outrageous and then we added loads and loads of parsley served it up and i just could have wept honestly it was to die for like to die for. Bon appetit. Bon apps. This actually looks unbelievably good. Oh my god. Mm. Turn out again. The following morning, I decided to make Tim and I acai bowls, which I've never made before, so this was an experiment. I used one and a half frozen bananas, loads of frozen berries, so strawberries and blackberries, etc. A couple of teaspoons of acai powder, some soy milk just to loosen it up, and I put it in the food processor until it was thick and combined and then i put them in these coconut bowls because clearly i am an instagrammer that lives in bali and then i put kiwi and fresh banana granola um, coconut flakes and some peanut butter on top make it look nice and put some healthy fats in there this was tim's reaction wow look at that whoa like i'm back in thailand really? i've never made one before so i'm sorry if it's not very nice good Mm. You're not going to answer the call? Yes, I am. Yes. I have mine with a protein shake and then I prepped lunch. So in here I've just got some cauliflower, broccoli, aubergine and courgette cut up with um, cayenne pepper, paprika, garlic, salt, pepper and some olive oil. And then already in the oven I've got a sweet potato, baby potatoes and half of an onion roasting. Oh done that looks so good i then made some couscous so i just poured out some couscous put a veggie stock cube in and some boiling water and then you just basically cover it until all the water is absorbed and it's cooked and then i took half of the veggies and i mix it in with the couscous as well as frying up some tofu and some sprouts and then some black beans which i added also into the couscous mix just to make a big old couscous <laughs> mess <laughs> tasted really really good so tim and i just had some of this for lunch and of course i covered both of ours with sriracha because everything tastes better with sriracha on top <laughs> and then as a snack i had some granola followed by a granny smith apple i don't know if you could tell but i have a hot water bottle in my trousers and i was pmsing hard and then we had some leftover carbonara with some beans and then to curb my chocolate craving i made us a hot chocolate which is basically just cocoa powder with some sugar and some soy milk to represent a hot chocolate because i didn't have any vegan hot chocolate and this was the perfect way to end a hormonal day <laughs> good morning everyone it's tuesday and i just got back from my run with Monica, we managed 9K. Neither of us were fooling it today. So after my run, as always, I made myself a smoothie with soy milk, frozen banana, kale, salted caramel protein powder, and then I had some porridge with stewed apple, granola, and blueberries as usual. Hi. Hi guys. <laughs> Good morning. It is, um, it's Tuesday, which means this is the final day of this what I eat in a week vegan edition. It's the final day today. And we just got a very exciting delivery. I was saying to Tim the other day that I want to try some vegan ready meals, which I know is not like me. I am very much like I like to cook basically everything that we eat. But sometimes it's nice to try something different. And so... 
That was literally so inconsiderate. I was trying to choose a considerate time. There was no considerate time. I did a little bit of research and I saw a company. Sorry, right, I'm eating my breakfast. You just saw it. It's um, stewed apple porridge with granola and blueberries. I saw a company called All Plants. This isn't sponsored by the way, or gifted. I paid for this with my own money. And I thought I would show Tim what we got. So come in shop so they can see your excitement. Ooh. You'll be very happy to see what's on the top. Really? Ooh. A kale and sunblush tomato Ooh. pizza. Boy. Which looks really good. Oh my God, I love the packaging. Look how cute this packaging is. This was prepared by Taylor. Super mm. green risotto. Oh, that looks good as well. Creamy mushroom stroganoff. Lum, lum. Lum. We've got shepherd's pie. Mm. Oh, great. Vegan I'm shepherd's so pie. so to try all of this. Oh, that looks good. Rigatoni carbonara. Oh. So we can Whoa, stick look what at there. It's got mushrooms. It's got mushrooms. Um, We'll see how it fares to our carbonara. Oh. I don't think it's going to be as good as our carbonara. I'm just going to put that out there. Lasagna gnocchi. Ooh. Is that how you spell gnocchi? No. I don't think it's, yeah, I think it's, it's gnocchi. Nossi. Nossi. <laughs> oh, that looks great. So, yeah, we're going to have half of each and like a side of vegetables, mm. probably. We'll let you guys know what they're like. It, that will be in next week. And we'll let you know if we recommend for those vegans who need a little bit of help meal prepping. So then for lunch I decided I wanted to use all of the veg that was left over from the week so I made a stir fry. I used up some mushrooms and some carrot as well as half of a block of tofu and some noodles and some sprouts. <laughs> so I fried up my sprouts and my carrots, got them nice and soft. And then I added an onion, some asparagus, heated them through, and then I added my tofu and let that brown while I soaked the noodles and let them get soft. Then I added the mushrooms because they take the least amount of time to cook and some monge too. And then when the noodles were soft, I just put that in the pan and then I topped it off with some teriyaki sauce and it was a very simple, very easy, but delicious stir fry. And I cracked some cashew nuts on top home from the gym I've been struggling a bit with vegan protein powder aka they are all disgusting the most disgusting of all is the orange and cacao my vegan vile actually disgusting now the brand that i always always use is optimum nutrition that's my favorite and they have really great flavors so i thought i would try their vegan protein they only have vanilla which i think is really rude seeing as i love their regular i'm getting desperate this is my third vegan protein i'm trying this week let's try it much better it's still not good i'm not gonna lie it's still not good I can actually drink that. Does anyone else love porridge with just a massive spoonful of jam on top? Because this is my <coughs> jam. <laughs> on this day's edition of Emma Chucks Things in the Blender to hope they taste nice, I decided to make like a millionaire shortbread rocky road situation. I put some cashews and some dates into the blender to make like a crummy base. And then I mix some dates and some peanut butter to make like a caramelly sauce to go in the middle. And then I melted some dark chocolate to go on the top and then you just assemble. So you put the crummy base at the base, <laughs> the caramel in the middle, and then I put some vegan marshmallows on top for the Rocky Road element. And then I just poured the melted chocolate on top, pop it in your fridge, let it set. It was actually so, so good. The peanut butter caramel turned out so much better than I was expecting. And for dinner that night, we had leftover carbonara with asparagus. You guys all said that this was the best vegan cheese. So we're giving it a go. Bon app. And then on the sofa, I snacked on some candy kittens, popcorners, and a slice of my millionaire shortbread Rocky Road. And it was the perfect way to end my first week of a vegan month so i really hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we ate this week thank you for watching and i will see you in my next one bye